Today, I'll show you a new workflow that will get you from Figma to code faster than ever using a robust AI system available to everyone today. We've trained a new AI model from scratch to take any design and convert it into high quality components in your framework of choice with just one click. The system requires no setup and no prior organization or structure of your designs, and everything you import is made automatically responsive to fit all screen sizes. And you can use our responsive editor to make any tweaks that you like. Then we can select any layer and output high quality code. For instance, here I'm using HTML and Tailwind, where I'm getting a good semantic tagging structure, clean conventional Tailwind styles, automatically optimized images, and a whole lot more. We have first-class support for a wide variety of frameworks, like Svelte, Vue, Quick, SolidJS, and React, as well as several styling systems like Tailwind, Emotion, StyleJSX, or plain CSS with clean contextual class names, and CSS variables that align to your design system, as well as styled components, where we automatically give your components clean contextual names. Then, for anything else you need, all you need to do is write a prompt. So if I use Material UI components, I can just say use MUI components. And now we get nice clean Material UI components, just like we would have written ourselves. We also have a handful of helpers built in. Like if I use the Next.js image component, we will now get code that imports from Next image and uses the Next.js image component directly. We can take this even further and say use props, where here we will generate TypeScript prop types and use those props instead of hard-coded values to make these components way more reusable. Or one of my favorites is we can automatically break this up into multiple components, where now you can see we have a header, then a hero section, then a divider, and that it's all brought together at the end. If you find yourself using the same prompts on repeat, we can add custom instructions. So now I can list out all of my preferences. So now no matter what I export and click on, the AI will always generate code matching my preference of style. And don't forget, you can write anything you want here. When syncing to your application, you'll encounter the hardest problem left in computer science, naming things. But the AI will take a shot for you. In this case, landingpage.tsx looks okay. And now I can sync directly to my code base in one button click. And in VS Code, here's my latest, greatest component that's been added. Each additional change is again, just a button click away. Pretty awesome. The way this works is via our Builder DevTools plugin, which supports a variety of frameworks. With that, just by running our dev server, the sync to code base button will light up. Our private beta users have told us this is saving them 50 to 80% of time spent implementing designs, but we don't think that's good enough. The goal of your design is to get it in front of your users. So we're also giving you a way to get your design in front of live visitors in one single click. So now, if you add one component to your code, you can get infinite designs live in record time within the guardrails and workflows that you define. So for instance, I can publish this design that I just imported to my live production website in just one click, and I didn't even have to name anything this time. Here's our live site updated in real time via our publishing API, and we didn't even have to deploy or commit any code at all. The breakthrough we had here was in realizing that while LLMs are incredible for transforming text to text, prompts to code is often not what you need. Your needs are described in detail in design tool files, a format that LLMs are not trained on, so they fundamentally cannot transform with the accuracy, quality, and speed of a specially trained model. Knowing this, we've created a multi-model tool chain that involves two AI models and a specialized compiler. We trained our specialized model from scratch with over 2 million data points to transform flat and unstructured designs into responsive code hierarchies, which then we passed to our open source compiler, Mitosis, that compiles it into code of your framework of choice, which then is a format that LLMs very well understand. We then use a fine-tuned LLM to customize the final code to your exact preferences. Now keep in mind, because our AI model is still brand new, and not even in V1 yet. It won't be perfect. Some designs will import wrong or potentially not even at all. But our tool chain is rapidly improving. And if it even improves at half the rate of Dolly, Midjourney, or GPT, you should expect transformational improvements to your productivity over time. We call this system Visual Copilot, and it's available in public beta today 
at builder.io slash visual dash copilot. Now I know what you're thinking. You build components using other components already in your code. And you might design with design systems of Figma components that map to them. When we design with those components and hit import, we will automatically use them. There has never been such a seamless way to bring your designs immediately to life. The visual editor is actually connected to my local site. I can make edits to my component and see things change in real time and visually manipulate the props to be able to touch and feel our components like never before. When you choose to output the code, you'll see that we will reference your components with the correct name and prop values for any custom components that were used. Custom component support for a Figma import is coming very soon. These days, I use Visual Copilot every single day. For example, to make our event site, we designed this nice little countdown timer. I imported it with one click and then honestly got kind of lazy. I know how to implement a ticking timer, but I didn't really feel like doing it. So I just asked the AI to do it. Make this timer actually interactive. And there we go. The AI actually made it interactive for me. I'll click to sync it to my code base. And now from my code, I'll just import launch countdown. And there we go. But I realized we can't actually see it ticking down. So let's add some seconds. In Builder, we'll just say add seconds. And there we go. I'll just hit sync to my code base and hot refresh kicked in. And there we go, a beautiful ticking timer. And while I could have written any of that code myself, I really enjoyed not having to think about it and just seeing it happen before my eyes. Now that I've shown you connecting to your code base for custom components, click to sync to your code base, click to publish over API, using your real site right inside of the visual editor canvas. You might be wondering, how do you even set all that up? Well, I'm thrilled to announce today our latest CLI and dev tools that makes this incredibly easy. Let's start by creating a new Next.js app. But note, we support a wide variety of frameworks. And now with my new site, all I need to run is npm init builder.io at latest. This will install and set up everything for me. Now I'll just run my dev server. We will see this. We can just visually get connected to builder, authorize access, and then we're done. Now we can take into this page. This is running on our site and it's using components from our code base. But the only page that was generated was this, which doesn't have all of that. That's because all of this came over this API call and is rendered dynamically. With the dev tools installed, anything we see here, we can just click to open in Builder. From here, we can visually make any edits we want, like add some space, edit the props for our components, or even edit long form content. For instance, we can use our new slash commands to add any component we want. Now, when we hit publish, our development and live sites will reflect the latest updates. And you can use roles, permissions, and workflows to set any guardrails you want, QA steps, etc. And now when we want to register more of our components for use in the visual editor, we can use our handy sidebar. This is where we parse your entire code base for what components are available. We can see we have a hero here that is not yet registered. Flip a switch to register it. We automatically detect the available props and prop types, which you can customize, enable, or disable for visual editing. And immediately our hero showed up here and we can drop it in and fill in the props. Here is the button, here is the subtitle, and here is the title. And because this is connected to our live code base, we can preview in real time changes to the code. And now if marketing gave us a new design for this hero that's not already in our code base, we can simply delete what's here, go over to Figma, select what we want to bring over, we can hit copy and then simply paste in our beautiful new content. Let's go ahead and grab this better header as well. Copy, paste, delete, publish, awesome. Next you might say, well, what if the designs change in Figma? How do we get that back into Builder in an easy and seamless way? Coming soon, you'll be able to connect a Figma artboard to an entry in Builder. We can simply hit push content and the latest change will be reflected in Builder in real time. Change something again and just push again. When you're happy with your latest version in Builder, we can publish away. The last thing I wanna show you is something I've been waiting forever to announce. It has been one of our most requested features to date and something our platform was always built to support and now finally can be used by you soon. Here, I have a screen for our native app that has been designed, but none of the SwiftUI code developed. As you can already expect, I'm just gonna hit import 
And as expected, here it is imported into Builder. But the exciting part is this right side. This is your exact content rendered dynamically with 100% native Swift UI code. This is rendered within a real production Swift app displayed here in an emulator. As I make any change I like, I can see the actual native app update in real time. And now we can publish a brand new screen to our native iOS or Android apps without submitting any new app code. Whatever you build visually, you can preview in real time and get live in seconds. Our iOS and Android SDKs are in private beta as of today and will be publicly available soon. We released a lot of new stuff today. Our AI Figma import, AI code gen, inline editing with slash commands, dev tools and CLI are all fully available today in public beta. Additionally, our native SDKs, custom component support in the Figma import, and live sync to builder button are now in private beta and will be publicly available soon. You can request access to our private beta features in the link below, as well as try out all the publicly available features as well. And next, join me and the Figma team for live Q&A to answer your questions and show you how to make the most of these exciting new AI features. I can't wait to see what awesome stuff you ship with these new tools.